Oh boy. Here we are. Um, heads up. I have a door shut with a fan going. It's my loud fan. So if you hear a little bit of droning in the background, that's what it is. It's hot. Not as hot as it has been for the past couple of days, but that's just something hopefully you can tolerate because I don't want this to be a sauna. Uh, I'm not very much dressed for that right now. Anyway, let me take a drink and welcome you all to uh, Wednesday. And nothing special about this one. We're just going straight to Verse World. Seeing if we can't um, maybe get some of those really cool places we got to on uh, last. Is there a broom on that elephant's ass? Is there like holding luggage there? Um, hopefully we can get some of the uh, cool places that we got doing the 10 second challenge. But my luck, that is not, not, that is not what is, that's not what's going to happen. There's something weird about <clears throat> double plural like that that my brain just didn't didn't process completely and we were perfectly spaced in such a way that I can't make out the URL on these construction vehicles anyway how we doing um middle of the week uh channel news the uh hour and basically hour and a half episode of me playing Magic terribly went up uh, yesterday. I know it's a long video. Maybe you didn't have time to watch it all. Or if you watched a little bit, hey, thanks. It is appreciated. Fry Wellig. Einst. Hmm. Nothing here is really telling me where we are. That truck. Montaigne. Montagna. Wait a minute. That looks like a Slovak. Slovakian shield that they have on their flag. Hotel Gruber. Is that where uh, Hans Gruber? What the hell is on my watch? Well, wow, that's ADHD if I've never seen it before. Fryhoff. Um, can this flag maybe move? That is the Netherlands flag if it doesn't unfurl. Hmm. Now is it Hmm. It's probably that. But anyway, let's let's finish sentences here. <clears throat> um if you had not had a chance to go watch that video, hey, go take a look. It'd be very much appreciated. Um I do have an idea, at least for something to happen to at least make the uh um Friday maybe GeoGuessr thing a little bit more interesting is I might put like a challenge of shorts to it where hopefully I can try to at least get to a certain score. In the uh, attempts, I did click a place, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, I, I'm putting us closer to the German border because I feel like that's where we are. Because I saw some German there. Granted, I'm pretty sure the Dutch here, Dutch, I think is a um, uh, 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 what's the word? A, maybe not a dialect, but it's very close to it. It's a Germanic based language, I believe. That's why I put it just there, but I've uh, thought ahead, and I'm thinking that I'll probably do a, some sort of challenge thing coming for the 10-second uh, things, just not it being 10 seconds itself, but putting something at least channel-related on the line as well for it. I mean, I am trying very hard in 10 seconds to try to at least get a uh, guess as to where we are. This is a pretty nice little... Uh, hilly spot here but eh, maybe i'll start mixing some other stuff into there too i don't think it's going to be magic related it might be some other stuff though i have 25 seconds gonna see what's on this bus this is a transport luxembourg well shit it's a luxembourgian flag that makes sense then we are in one of the cool little tiny places how about that that's cool thank you uh geoguessr for uh fulfilling my request. Yes, that very much looks like the uh, a Luxembourgian flag. Weren't that far off, though. I'll give myself a pat in the back for that. And by pat in the back, it's a sip of this very awful drink that I'm finishing because I spent money on it. Vans, very much a Bulgaria. Very much handy as far as finding out where we are because they always have 
Well, maybe not always, but a lot of the time. Unless they're the creepy vans you find down by the river. <clears throat> At least have a URL on them. So, let's see if we can't find out exactly where in Bul Bulgatsky we are here. Uh, and is this, I'm thinking this is energy. I'm not reading the whole thing, but when it starts E-N-E-R-G-O-S-E. -E, Energatskia, maybe? This really isn't a road, but we'll uh, make do. I don't know if I mentioned this about... Um, I'm sure I did when when I was in uh, Macedonia, which, you know, this is kind of just a regional generalization I'm getting. They do share borders, so I'll just say around Plovdiv because I like saying Plovdiv. Um, one of the things I noticed about staying in a, I don't know if it was like, it was before Airbnb. It was just kind of like these, this, it, I don't know if it was a, a real estate company or not, but they would also rent out specifically uh, apartments that are completely furnished for um, uh, tourists. And the one that we went to, we called a purple palace because it was straight up nothing but lavender and purple. This is a cool little uh, restaurant. I would very much eat here. I'm sure all the food's great. Uh, but the restaurant, not restaurants, the um, apartments at that place. Uh, I think they were kind of retrofitted with um, certain amenities, or if it wasn't retrofitted, it was, everything was concrete, kind of, you know, like the brutalist style, where it was very, uh, something that was kind of famous as far as Soviet-style architecture at the time, that um, Everything was concrete, and then from there they started adding all of the uh, amenities and plumbing, things like that, electricity. Uh, maybe not so much into the walls, but on the outside, kind of snaking around. And one of the things that they did was had a hot, um, the hot water pipe was very much exposed and very much outside the uh, wall there, very like maybe like a half inch from the wall, and it was not conveniently placed right in the uh, shower shower slash bathtub because like Taiwan does the same thing too with their bathrooms it was completely like there's no currents or anything it's all tiled everywhere and then there's a drain in the floor where if you go splish splash and it'll drain in the floor and it's fine instead of containing it into the bathtub itself but um, when I was trying to take a shower first thing I had to do was turn on the hot water heater because <clears throat> being spoiled in America, I guess, I was used to just having a hot water heater for the house and it was always on. This thing, you had to plan ahead where you were like, all right, I'm going to take a shower and now I'm going to uh, do that in 15 minutes because I have to make sure to turn on the hot water and then take my shower, making sure that when I'm washing myself in any way, that uh, I'm not bumping my arm against a scalding hot copper pipe. And I did that once, and I guess it's a good lesson because you do it once, you're never going to do it again. But um, other thing you got to make sure, too, is you got to turn off the, uh, the hot water heater when you're done, lest it explode when you're not there. So that, that's kind of crazy. The, uh, so I did, I did nail it by putting it right in did. Uh, I'm pretty happy with myself. I'm taking a little sip. <sighs> Just strange things never thought about of like, oh, you have to turn off the hot water. Oh, God. So immediately, I think this is a bit dry. These aren't baobab trees, but they kind of look like that. This is dry and arid. This is either going to be, um, this could be Africa, this could be Mongolia, and it could be the Andes. I mean, I see a lot of mountains in the background. I'm not really thinking this is Africa now. Although, I'm, I'm, I have no idea. This is going to be a very wild guess. I'm going to hit home because I think I want to continue. Was there, like, an intersection up here? Okay, there was. Maybe there's some signage on this thing. This seems to be a... Potentially a water treatment plant of sorts. Um, there is a sign. Transco. It's in Arabic and English. 
So if it's Transco, maybe that's an oil thing. Ooh, we do have some more snaking around here, which makes me think this could be, oh, we're right at the end. Um, an oil company potentially in the, uh, in Africa, or it could be, this could be the Middle East. Now, because it was in English and Arabic, makes me think it could be, um, Actually, it doesn't make me think any different than what I said before. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm just going to go by any sort of landmark I can find to hopefully give me something about this one. Oh, boy. Oh, I did see that sign. Let's see what this says. I think this is... Well, there's footpath here. Interesting enough. Can I get, like, over there if I click that? No, I can't. All right. Uh, I got a minute left. Interesting rock bed here. I'm going to keep clicking in this direction to hopefully come across an intersection of sorts, but I'm 50-50 on uh, Africa or the Middle East here, and I don't know if I'm going to get <clears throat> any more definitive than that. Hmm. Hmm. Suddenly green. This type of fencing... Can I go that way? I cannot. Although we are getting closer to some level of civilization here. There is a road. No, that's just a fence. And I've crossed it. Did I want to do that? Let me go just a little bit here. Maybe, maybe one of these signs will tell me something. Alright, this is straight up this region. Now the problem is finding out exactly where. Um, we're going to have that. We got 49 seconds. Hmm. I think Thamid. This, I feel this might be Mediterranean. There is a flag. Um, I think that's, that's Jordan, I think. Is it Jordan or is it Syria? I think it's Jordan. al police station. I wish it would have, I wish I could remember what the, f what, what this flag is. I think I'm right. This is a crazy little place here. Although this, yeah. Ah, remember my flag, God damn it. It would be very helpful if I could. Got the region, though. This, I don't feel... This almost feels like a place I've been before. Like, maybe a hundred episodes ago at this point. Hmm. Got a roundabout. God, this place is going to be so goddamn hot. Oops, sign. Here we go. Boutique Emirates Road. All right, we're in the uh, you good old UAE here. 311. Wonder if they're a fan. Here is the 311. Wonder what, if, what the color of their energy is here. Emirates Road, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed. I don't know who that is. I just felt cool that I could say it all at once there. <clears throat> I'm really hoping I don't clear my throat too much when I do these. I'm trying not to. We have a 611, so we... Okay. We have 311 and a 611, so I feel... Although they do parry, like, mimic... Uh, um, um, run parallel to each other, it seems here. I'm going to put us here to at least have a general area. This looks like it was an intersection, or they just stopped. They're like, ah, fuck it, we're done. But then it picks up again. This is weird. Like, this is interesting, um, uh, brick or more, whatever, some sort of brick road here. What is this? Metropole School. 
Oh, is it like a bus school where you learn how to drive? Big ass buses. That's cool. I would never want to do that. Anybody who drives a giant ass truck, I have a lot of respect for you because I mean, I could drive. I, I think I'd be actually able to drive uh, big rigs on highways or anything where I don't have to turn sharp or be smart with parking or do weird back up into loading bays things. But whenever it comes to actual skill of doing that shit, no, I cannot. Okay, we are like specifically in Dubai. So we're very close. We're either here or we might actually be over here. Hmm. Mall of the Emirates. No, that's not golf course, though. Man, when I think of whenever an actual uh, deep gigging, that sounds, uh, I don't know what, what to make of that. You ever do any deep gigging over the weekend? It sounds dirty. I don't know if, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to do any deep gigging. General contractors, Dubai, Dubai. Lost in a void that I know far too well. Interesting graffiti, and it's in English. Maybe that's a donation box. Not sure. What is this? Why is it gone? Give me back over here. Welcome to Service Week. And now it's a dealership? Cartorome? Cartorome? What the hell is that? That That's a weird... I, oh, Cartrome. Oh, I thought it was go-karts and I got excited. And then they have thatching. So we're pretty close on that one. It deserves a sip. Can is emptied. Oh god, another wilderness one. Okay. Feeling Argentina slash Mexico vibes here. <clears throat> this is what I'm vibing on. If I'm using that correct parlance, I'm not sure. I'm past the age of uh, being hip. I think I'm. Oh, I think I'm actually past the general, like the main demographic when they talk about people in uh, advertisements or whatnot. I, I'm past the peak. Now I get AARP things in the mail or general election things. Pista? Well, that makes me think this is Spanish. Let's see what this car. That seems to be a European um, license plate, though. Let's get a little. Oh, you blurred it, you bastards! <clears throat> Why do that to me? This is hard enough as it is. You didn't. You didn't need to do this to me. So, now I feel this is Europe, big open field, let's uh, take a look, I see cows, let's, does this ranch actually have anything written on it? No, it's just a very short uh, gate. And now we just hopefully click fast enough to uh, to get to something, because I want to say that this is Central America, but now it's screaming Central Europe, like Eastern Europe as well, because of that license plate. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere within time to hone that guess down. Looking around, I'm seeing very flat. Not much in the way of mountains. There's a few hills over there, but that's not really enough to delineate anything. Change my assumption. Saw a house. A lot of ranches, though. 
that's not going to be legible. Big open pastures, unkempt dirt road. The soil doesn't really feel like this is tropical. Graffiti on this. This is a weird road. It's a little bit more defined, at least the tracks are, but oh god, now it's not. This mud. Man, I don't know. Nothing is, uh... Nothing's coming up on this one. This shacks to make me feel... Oh, okay. Herval. Asentano? Is this Brazil? Or is this, like, down here? And I don't know. This is gonna be like a four-pointer. I'm gonna get... Holstein cow, I did see you there at the corner of my eye. Like, the, it's not Cyrillic, though. That is a... Let's see this tractor. Can I go by you to maybe see... Piedras Altus? <clears throat> uh, the municipal of Piedras Altus, was I right? No, I wasn't. God, that one's hard. That one was extremely hard. I think I saw Herval there, but... Silly me, we were on uh, Unmarked Road. How did I not know that? Well, it started off great and then progressively got worse. <clears throat> but that's going to do it for our uh, geo-guessing this week. Not this week, Wednesday. We have one more day left. Um, if you have not yet, maybe go take a quick look at that magic video that came out on Tuesday. And stay tuned for Friday with more geo-guessing as we've been doing a daily challenge and some other random stuff with maybe something tied to it this time for another video for next week. But if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, put them down in the comments below. And if you have not yet, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your cat. Tell your dog. Tell your feet. I don't care. Do whatever makes you feel good that doesn't somebody else out. Apparently it's pouring out, so I made a good idea not to walk on my uh, break. But that's it for today again. Come back in a few more days. We'll do this again. See you later, folks. Goodbye.